Jim Pratt, what's going on, man? Not much, but you got the drink. Oh, uh, you know, I got some of the eggnog going on. We got the Russian, or sorry, the Polish soda. You wanna give, which one do you want to give a shot? I'll try the soda first. You'll try the soda. Oh, he's brave. Hey, have you seen the new Star Wars flick? I've seen the new Star Wars flick. Yes, I've seen the new Star Wars flick. Anyway. Hey, guys, look over there. It's uh, Jonathan. What's going on, John? Not much, man. Come on over. Hey, what can I do for you, man? Good to see you. Long time no see. How about yeah, no kidding, man? Yeah, uh, pretty good. You seen new Star Wars film yet? Uh, yes, I've seen the new Star Wars film. See how heavy I'm pouring? I've yeah. seen the new Star Wars film. Hey guys, look, check it out. Paul, super nerd Paul, how's it going? What's up, guys? Good how to see you. Long time no see. Last time I saw you was with Eric, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. man. What's going on? Yeah, I know you saw it, so uh, I think you can see The Last Jedi, haven't you? Yeah, just pour me a drink. I'll pour you a drink. I don't care. Uh, can I get Jim's first? Whoa, is that Kevin Lyle works with Lucasfilm and designs their hey, stuff? Hey, and yeah. Holy Christ. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's good uh, very good see to see you. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Holy cow. Hey, have you guys seen Rogue One? Uh, well, is that all we're going to do is talk about Star Wars today? Because, man, I got better things to do. No, 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 no. About. Well, before yeah. I'm spilling drinks. Away. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> things aren't going well. <laughs> Use the force. <laughs> What'd you think? That's a really good soda. <laughs> we got a lot of people here that really, really like Star Wars, so I guess we're going to talk about Star Wars. So, if we were going around, Paul is an uber fan of science fiction. Jonathan is a member of the 501st, mm. which is, of course, the world's largest charitable costuming Star Wars organization, period. I'm a former member, I was their executive officer for way too long, and but it was fun, I enjoyed it. And then we have Jim, who's also a former and has a ridiculous Star Wars collection. And then lastly, we have Kevin Lyle. Tell him what you do, because you're better uh, at it than I am. I work in product development, I, I make Star Wars stuff. But you oh, are. and I work for Topps. Oh, got make... That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, what'd you think? You wanna go around the room? <laughs> Start with him. Start with me. I can. I mean, you can see how upset. Like when Paul walked in here, his shoulders are up at his ear. No, 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 Oh, five bucks for that. That is really good soda. That hat's around here somewhere. That's what the hat I've already torn off. Maybe. Head. <laughs> Ryan Johnson, I wish this was you. Oh no. This is how it's gonna go. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you stabbed my childhood in the heart and you didn't stop. Where's the lid to this? <laughs> So, so what could they have done to spice up the film outside of adding my chili? Not treat Luke like a... More Luke Skywalker. More Luke Skywalker. Luke being a badass, not a hologram. I mean, I literally was waiting for Kurt Russell Wasn't to stand he more next of a to him to and, for the, and for Stacey Keach to go up with his gun and just go... Hey! He's not here, he's a hologram. I went... Oops. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> we all as fans... We are fans. And I know people who loved it and hated it. They yeah. still hated the way they treated Luke. And even Mark Hamill. Yeah. Has been on record. They actually showed it to him saying several times. What several the times. hell is it? I, I put it to, I went out, I got really drunk, and I slept with some this great woman that I thought at the time. Then I woke up hmm. and I went, ah, and I need to run. Hmm. So it hit me like during that the really movie, happened? I was going and on during a lot of the scenes. I really was. Like when it's hard to avoid a woman flying through space wearing a dress, not to. I mean, it was. She was out with Mary Yato. Within three hours, that movie coming out, he was calling it flying nun. Right. Yeah. You know, he was yeah. quick with that. I don't even care about that. Maybe Leia was wearing one of the suits that Star Lord was wearing in the Last Guardians one. <laughs> there was there was a lot of little things though that bothered me. Like, and it, I mean, they're little, but you notice them. Like, they got Chewbacca's head right this time. Oh yeah, you were telling me that. You were saying you didn't know like it was a back and forth. It was a back and forth between the two actors. This time it was one, and it worked. <laughs> However, Yoda has Disney doe eyes. Yeah. They really made the eyes big. You know, you know what I feel like about the whole thing? I feel like JJ and Ryan were uh, kids at one time playing with Star Wars, and this is what they did, and then they never ever really watched the movies. 
Maybe. Yeah. Until you get to the end of that movie, where you have that little stupid moment. I'm the stable boy. I, I agree. I'm the stable boy. The Budweiser good feeling Christmas moment. They save the horses, but they don't save the people. Are you kidding me? Um, couple things. Did anybody here love this film? Love it. He's not raising his hand. He's not raising his. You're not raising your hand. Sir, you're hand. saying love like I love. The original story. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, uh, you're never going to get that. No. Uh, I liked it. Okay. I enjoyed watching the movie. I'm glad I saw it. There's a huge... I've never walked out of a Star Wars film with that many reservations about the movie. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I think all of it stems for... If, if they could have kept everything in it that we've discussed and right. what Paul apparently hates, <laughs> I'd be fine with it if they could just rework what they did to Luke. I mean, I just took that personally. I'll agree with uh, that. Yeah, I, will, just, I, just, I will agree with so that. So was, was it a waste of Mark Hamill? Can we, can we all kind of agree on that? Complete. All right. I agree. He had, I would say that to me, he had a role with which should have been the most gravity. Yes. Right? Look at Harrison Ford as Han Solo in the last film. He had all the gravity of the film, right? Yeah. Luke should have had more in this film. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Who had the most gravity? Not who should have, who had it, Kyle other than Ren. Kevin Lyle. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren has the most gravity, in your opinion. Who has the most gravity? Uh, for me, it's a tie between Kylo Ren and Princess Leia in this movie. Mm. Yeah. Huh. That's a good Go one. ahead. Princess yeah. Leia as well. Most gravity. Yeah. She does That helps carry the film. But I also feel like there was a lot of focus because of what they had Well, they pre shot it. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I, don't I know, but there, you can tell there's. Who do you think? Because this, I'm curious. I don't think any of them did. The, the least. The least. And focus. that's that, 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 exactly. No the least focus. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I, felt, I felt there was a lack of uh, almost. Oh, I don't want to say a lack of interest. It's just none of them lived the potential that they could have. Yeah. Carrie was great, though. I think it really tried to find traction through gravity because that's what Star Wars has always been about. You have Alec Guinness, gravity. Can you separate these for me, please. This, these are they're, they're all yours. <laughs> you can have a plate too. Um, there's you have then you have Yoda, gravity. He's a Muppet and he had gravity and a yes. play thing. Yeah, and it worked, mm -hmm. right? And then in the last film, the gravity really goes to sort of the the protagonist and antagonist. I think. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about Obi Wan. It's not really about Yoda anymore. Mm -hmm. It's it's about them, and it works. Mm -hmm. In the prequels, it's it's a little all over the place, Sporadic. but it's there. Good. When all the soldiers went up, and you know you're thinking, <laughs> you know you're thinking, hot what did all I do? over when all the soldiers are like lighting up. Yeah. It's, and then it's soldiers it's like salt. salt. So yeah. it kind of like, ha ha ha, you know, yeah, we yeah. trolled you. Yeah. Not like, to go like backwards, but we were talking about gravity with characters. It's really? like if we all put our beers down on the table and pick which half drink and beer that we wanted to drink. We don't really want to drink any of those beers. They are not our beers, uh, and, but we're, we want a beer. So we're, I think we're just arguing to say who uh, is he talking about? Who had gravity in this movie? Okay. <laughs> Everybody, you know, I want to drink this beer, but I don't want to drink your beer. And we're trying to pick like a half full glass of character okay. quality. Then somebody else's creation of something that we are, mm. yes, so that's what I'm alluding to. Mm. Um, Which brings me to Snoke. Uh, yeah. The first problem with Snoke yeah. is that he's named, it sounds like a Harry Potter thing. Yeah. Yes. It sounds like a Harry Potter thing. But go ahead, Jim. I don't want to steal your thunder, oh, please. They're like, who is Snoke? Who is Snoke? Yeah. And you're like, who, who is he? Yeah. Nobody. The, the, you know, the, fan sites are, the fan sites that have been on that front. Here's yeah. to Lucas. I sure miss you now, buddy. Yeah, I do. George. Mr. George. All right. Well, I've had it can, can we not overlook the fact that this movie was about a spaceship that was about to run out of gas? Yep. That's what? what? <laughs> the whole uh, movie was a ship running out of gas! Yeah, it's banking on it! And it's convenient. Oh, hey, you two can run off and go fight this guy. He happens to be in the same area. Yeah, Chevy oh, Chase was two hours for this vacation. <laughs> You know, I mean, where there's all it, it here. felt like an SNL movie at that, really that point. Yes. So we're banking on gas. Also, if you only put five bucks in the tank today before we left, what's going on here? I don't, I don't Brian Johnson really wanted to make a Mad Max movie, and this was the only way he could do it, you know? But from the look at it, from like a, just a, you're this far ahead, right? It was imaginary. Mm -hmm. You don't deploy fighters to go take those ships. We're going to take arcing. My new Coriolis effect is now a thing in space, too. Arcing shots <laughs> at a cruiser. Why do you want to start? The laws of gravity. Why do you oh, want no. Star to jump ahead and go? Exactly. See you later. I walked out of this movie confused. I didn't. I was entertained by it, 
but I was not happy with it. I thought it was an excellent film. I thought it was a really good Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. And there was, uh, the Canto Bite scene reminded me more of like a Harry Potter movie, um, Fifth or something like that. Fifth Element, Fifth because element. the aliens yep. were so deliberately faked. I said Fifth Element to a friend the other day. Fifth actually. Element. I didn't get that. I understand he was trying to make you think of things that were not expected. Right. But that's good plot and good writing, which right. I can see. But it doesn't but I like work. You said, it didn't work with this movie. You said. What did I say? Perfect. With, you know, the, the fact that they turn around and release the animals, but the kid loves Social the Justice there. Warrior scene for 20 minutes. Well, Tidians. We had Tidians. We had Tidians. <laughs> Weird titties. Right, so like you want to want to get in on something? Should I bleep that? Please, please tell me that's. You want to get? Who's from Hasbro? So wait, the yeah, is that I'm like gonna go. When you first saw Star, I saw Star Wars in 19 shot <laughs> because I'm drinking and I'm getting hammered. That was great. Hammered. Um, I did that just for the women. Um, Kevin though has a much better voice. Kevin, say something sexy, but make it sound ridiculous. Washing machine. That That's perfect. Ah, nice. <laughs> Kevin well, suddenly became excited, way man. more appealing. I just came. My nipples fell hard. When did you see Star Wars for the first time? What year? Seventy uh, seven. Uh, August of seventy seven. August seventy seven. When did you first see Star Wars? I'd say probably around 1990, 1990. You're young. Child. Thirty one. Thirty one. I got, I got I shoes older than that. Uh, Bridgeport, the Merritt, the Merritt Theater. Two boys are June nineteen seventy seven with my father. I was five years old. Seventy seven. Seventy seven. Okay, Jim. First time you saw. Seventy seven. Okay. So all of us, except for you, except for the child. <laughs> That's not true. I had the proof of seeing them unadulterated in the early '90s, and then the special edition. Fair enough. Okay, we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll give you this. I mean, you are a member of the 501st. Right. We extend you yes. a courtesy mm -hmm. here. <laughs> a courtesy. Well, you know, I got the little 501st <laughs> stuff up there. You know, it's all up there. But anyway, well, so I'm going to say this. When I first saw it, I saw it in a double feature. I saw it in '78. So I saw it because I was five in '78, uh, and we were moving from. When it came out, we were moving from Illinois to um, to here. Right. So we missed I missed some stuff, and so I saw it on its first birthday. Do you remember the picture, the the poster with the birthday cake sure. and R2 yeah, and three? Absolutely. Right. Okay. Yep. So that's when I saw it. It was a double feature with Superman. Oh yeah. Greatest day of my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Superman and Star Wars. You can't win. Yeah. Huh? And people stood up you and can't, you can't lose. You can't lose. This is why we can't win. When we saw Star Wars, and if you were in the theater. Back then, mm -hmm. remember your glass. If you were in the theater back then, everybody stood and clapped and applauded and freaked out when the Death Star blew up. That was part of my childhood. I never forgot that. Yeah. If you have to see a film multiple times to know you like it, you don't like it. Thank you. <laughs> Bingo, and nail around the head. Boom. Now there are some films, let's say Silence of the Lambs, where you can watch it over and over again and you get new bits and pieces of stuff that come out. And that's brilliant filmmaking. Yep. But you knew that you liked it, and that's what drew you to watch it again. It wasn't indifference. It wasn't, I don't know. There was no goatee scratching, and many of us here have some sort of facial hair. I can't grow no. Yeah. It's true, I know. You're still waiting. <laughs> 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 he's a he's, a, he's, he's, able, he he's refined. But think about that for a second. Am I wrong? No. 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 I saw it once, and I said, okay. I've, I've made up my mind on this, I know. Well, I buy invariably because we're fans and we're stupid and we're gonna right, give all our right, money right, away to right. Disney and they're gonna buy right. Fox and the life will be over as we know it. What do you think about that? It's like, I know I'm never gonna recapture that childhood. Yeah. See, a lot of people- It's true. A lot of people who like, it's true. are bashing right. it, they're like, you're trying to gain that, you're not gonna gain that. That's true. You're not gonna feel- For a population, all the time, for right? a population, right. you're not incorrect. No, you're not. Right. You're you not, can't you're chase not the it. the same right. mindset. You can't chase the dragon. Can't you know chase the mean? dragon. You always lose. You're what not. do you think? I agree with you. I'm trying to, I'm like literally trying to convince myself that I love this movie because I love Star Wars so much. But if you do that, I mean, aren't you just like, you can watch something a million times and then you're just brainwashing yourself. Yeah. And I can't get behind yeah. that. I want to see what the big man has to say. What do you think? Um, when Luke walked out to face Kylo Ren, and like, I clapped and like, yeah. You're like, you, that was the one clap I heard the entire time. Was, oh, was you, right. you were with me. I was there. And, and it's just like nobody else seemed to care.
Led Zeppelin has a feel, right? I mean, it has a, you yep. hear it, yes. you know exactly. You know exactly. Nobody can copy that. Nobody, Rush. Can, copy. Nobody can copy Rush, Rush has a feel, and they evolved and changed, but they were still Rush. Yep. Yes. Yep. The Who has a feel. Chicago has a feel. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Okay? Star Wars has a feel. Mm -hmm. And this particular episode didn't have that feel. It needed so, John Bonham. So was it, was it Star Wars... This Star Wars was a poser. <laughs> it, it had a. Spark was it poison? Poser. <laughs> Poisony it was, poser. It was the glam version of Star Wars. Oh. I just threw up a little in my mouth. Thinking about that. I think that that we have to end this because that was Jim. You just completely ruined the night. Yeah. Yes. Once again. Yeah. Once again. Yeah. In the carpet, by the way. And, and he didn't kill anybody. <laughs> I'm just going to use the I head and, just the and slit my wrist yeah. now and stuff. Bye. Sinara, thanks. I think we got it. <laughs> May the farce be with you.